Could there be an alien planet filled with giant bugs? Yes, we're talking Starship Troopers and the battle for Clendathu. I don't know. Kill them! Kill them all! My most recent episode for Science at the Movies pod was Starship Troopers. Now, aside from a deep dive into the book versus the movie and the satire of fascism, I also spent some time looking at giant bugs. Who doesn't love this for the weekend Google searches? Now, in terms of our planet, we thankfully don't have giant bugs. Some Australians may disagree. But to be fair, we're talking about like man or at least like child sized bugs. Now, prehistoric giant bugs though, totally a thing. Around 350 million years ago, the seas held scorpions that were nearly a metre long. The forests had millipedes nearly two metres long, and the skies had dragonflies with wingspans of a metre. So why are our bugs so small now? Again, no disrespect to Australians. The event that happened to reduce the size of our bugs was a change in our atmosphere. Like, do you know how bugs breathe? Our bugs don't have lungs. There is no way for them to manually breathe, so they need to passively breathe. Oxygen is pushed into their bodies through openings in their exoskeletons, and the push comes from atmospheric pressure. So the larger the body of the bug, the harder it is for the oxygen to make its way through the exoskeleton. And oxygen is one of the main reasons that animals can grow large. Now, hundreds of millions of years ago, our atmosphere contained 35% oxygen. Nowadays, it's like 21%. So the conditions were ripe for bigger bugs. Now, in terms of Earth, there still would have been like an upper limit on how big they could get. Because with bugs, the size of the body grows at a larger rate than its skeletal structure. So at some point, the mass would become too big to be supported by the exoskeleton. So how does Clendathu have giant bugs? Well, we can assume a few things about what the planet must be like. So the atmosphere must have a higher oxygen content. And it's likely that there's also higher atmospheric pressure to push more oxygen through the bugs. And given how bloody big those plasma bugs are, we can assume that the planet must have lower gravity so that the bugs can grow to a larger size. Now, all of this is taking Earth conditions into account, of course. There is no reason that they can't have a different composition to us, other than the fact that the entire story is centred around humans and bugs in ground battles. Now, the humans are breathing the same air, so we assume the same standards. However, a higher oxygen content, higher atmospheric pressure, lower gravity, there's no way Rico and his buddies are running around there without a spacesuit. Clendathu is a bug's home. No humans welcome. <laughs>